basketball coach, Tom Crean. Couple other seniors. How about all our senior students up there? Where are the ones that have been camped outside since Thursday? Not all of you. Uh, all right. Let's hear it again for all the seniors who've been with us through two championships. How about all our senior band members? Let's hear it for them. All of our senior dance squad and cheerleaders, let's hear it for them. Because you, along with Yogi, have been here for two Big Ten championships. Congratulations. One other senior, there, there are so many people in a program that make the program go, and a lot of times you don't know who they are, but we know who they are because we wouldn't survive without them. And it's the same thing as the students. And a young lady that has been with us for four years, she's from Indianapolis, she's been phenomenal. Lindsey Burke, come on out, Lindsey. Great job. Our first senior has been with us as long as Yogi has. He came from Zionsville High School where their coach Sean Busick told us, you will not make a mistake if you have Jackson Tharp in your program. And he was, he was right, only we should have timed it by about a thousand because he has been absolutely phenomenal from the beginning. He did things that is, is a freshman manager that, that, that were out of the box, that were extraordinary, and it was never like he was a freshman. And the one thing he never lost was his love of playing the game and his love of getting better. And all the things that he would do to make our program better behind the scenes, he was making our, program, he was making our players better in practice and with the things that he would do. And when we decided that we needed to have somebody else, especially after James got injured, which was such a blow to not only the team, but to the, to, to, and not only to our play, but to the practices, because we needed that extra person, we decided to add Jackson Tharp. Jackson has worn many, many hats, but now he leaves here as a member of a Big Ten champion and a player at Indiana from Zionsville, Indiana, Jackson Tharp. All right, I'll make this quick. Uh, I just want to thank you all for coming to start out. You know, we appreciate you guys. Um, I want to thank God. I want to thank this team. Uh, without God, we couldn't be where we're at today. So that's the biggest one. Uh, next, I want to thank Coach Green. I mean, because without him, I could not be where I am today. Uh, he's been a man who's just put me in this situation and from day one has demanded the very best of me. Um, I'll get back to that in a sec. But my dad, he's really been the one who's pushed me to be where I'm at today. When I think of my dad and my mom and the things they've instilled in me, there's three things, God, family, and hard work. It's not by their actions, but the, but the things they say to me and the things they show me through every day. Um, you know, they teach me things. And without them, I could not be where I'm at today. And my dad taught me with everything you know, that's what makes you successful. Next is Coach Crean. You know, he's built upon that foundation, just demanding the best of me every single day. Um, you know, I said just a second ago, I could not be where I was at now without him. You know, he's made me a better man. He's built on top of my, my family's teachings. And, you know, I, I could not be more thankful for him. You know, next... I want to give my managers a shout out. Um, you know, you know, as most of you know, I was with them for three and a half years before this, and you know, those guys work hard every single day, and you know, they're some of the hardest working people you'll never know. And you know, I just I want to give them all love. You know, there's 12 of them over there, 
And, you know, without them, I, I couldn't be where I'm at today either. So, you know, give them a round of applause. You know, and, and finally, I want to thank my team. You know, they welcomed me in with open arms. Even when I was a manager, you know, playing with them in, in practice, you know, they always, always gave me love or always, you know, were talking to me and, like I was a part of this team. And so when I became a part of this team, you know, they just did even more. And I just, I really appreciate everything they've done for me, including this Big Ten championship. I mean, I can't, I can't thank these guys enough. So. And then finally, you know, I said earlier, there's three things my dad taught me, and that embodies the three things this, this team goes for, God, family, and hard work. You know, we embody each and every one of them, and we work on them every single day. And with this team, anything is possible. You know, we're going to go get another banner this year. We're not done. Thank you.